my name is Colleen Perez Mejia and this is your Starfish News. March 15 was our school's principal's birthday. Claire Olson interviewed Ms. Graves to learn more about her. Hi, my name is Claire Olson here with our wonderful principal, Ms. Graves. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you, Claire, for having me. I'm excited to talk to you. Okay, so how long have you been here at Sawyer Road? I have been at Sawyer Road since it actually opened in 2005. So I was a teacher when I came. Um, I actually worked with um, second grade. Um, and then I was the literacy coach and the IB coordinator, the assistant principal, and then the principal. When you were in elementary, what mm -hmm. was your dream job? Um, I think I wanted to be like a flight attendant, kind of see all the different parts of the country and even maybe fly internationally some. Um, I thought that would be fun to, to do. What inspired you to be a principal? You know, um, that's one of those questions that I have to think about for a second. Um, when I, I came to Sawyer Road, uh, we had just a great group of students, um, and we had a wonderful principal. Her name was Jill Sims. And, um, you know, I think we all find people that we'd like to be like. And uh, she kind of took me under her wing, and, um, and I got to work really closely with her. Um, and I just thought, you know, this is someone that I really want to be like. I loved her character and her drive, and I loved um, her initiative and thoughts about what she um, wanted to do with Sawyer Road. So that is probably the reason why, because I wanted to kind of fulfill and continue the things that she had already started here. What are the steps to becoming a principal? Well, generally, you have to be a teacher first. So um, when you, uh, after you start your teaching career, you can go back to college and you can get your advanced degree or what we call a master's degree and sometimes a specialist degree or even a doctorate. Um, and when you're doing that, you can select what area uh, you want to, um, to pursue. And so leadership is one of them. So to be an administrator in a school, be it elementary, middle, or high school, you have to have a leadership degree. What do you enjoy about being the principal? I love all the kids like you. Um, I enjoy uh, learning still about uh, reading and math and how to be a really good teacher. Um, but it really is about the kids. Uh, we, um, we have some great kids here at Sawyer Road and, um, and it's just fun to kind of keeps us youthful to be around all the kids all the time. Did you think that you would become a principal? Nope, I never thought that I would be a principal. My mother was a school teacher. She taught first grade um, for probably 35 years. And, um, and it was just not something that I ever necessarily thought that I would be. That being said, I did always want to do something in leadership. So I knew that that was probably a direction that I was gonna go. So it just kind of was a natural fit after I became a teacher. What's your favorite memory here at Sawyer Road? Oh, there's so many. Uh, probably our 10th anniversary um, mem uh, when we celebrated the 10 years here at Sawyer Road or when the Atlanta Braves came. I don't know if you remember. You were probably in kindergarten when that happened. Um, but we had the Braves and uh, come in their, their special drum line and play for us. It could be the kickball game where Mr. Bassery and Mr. McQueen were not playing fairly. Um, that could be definitely a that great. Is true. They did not play they did fairly. Not play fairly. Um, so um, anyway, so that could certainly be um, a memory. But I think that every year, um, as the fifth graders make their walk and they're kind of move into sixth grade and they're walking up and down the hall. Um, and just kind of reflecting on their time in our building, whether it be one year or five years or six years. Um, that, I think, is probably one of the most special times in our school. Great. Thank you for letting me speak well, with you. Thank you for coming to speak with me. To learn more about next week's weather, here is Travis. Hi, I'm Travis Harding. I'm your Sawyer Rose weatherman. Here's next week's weather. This week is going to be stormy and rainy, 
But on Monday, there's going to be a thunderstorm. And on Tuesday, it's going to cool down and it's only going to be rain. On Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be sunny. And on Friday, I really hope we get some sun instead of rain. That's this week's weather. St. Patrick's Day was on March 17th. Kindergarten and first graders made awesome leopard contraps to see if they could capture one. Here is Kenley Oliver with more. Hello, so I'm with Santiago. Santiago, can you please tell me more about your leopard contrap? Yeah. Okay, so he goes up the ladder, I show it off, and then he needs to go straight, and then he falls down the pole. Right. Can you please tell me about your leopard contrap? Yes. Um. So I use pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks to make a ladder. And then my mom helped me with to make an arrow about diamonds. And then I have chocolate, um, gold, and, and I was trying to capture him to, um, so I could, um, he will go in and get, it to see if there's anything else of chocolate, but then I will come in and then get dig him up with the chocolate. Uh, when the leprechaun's trying to go in here, it's gonna trap down. Mm -hmm. Are you happy about your project? Mm -hmm. Okay. So would you like to uh, make any changement? Right. Is, you want to make any changes? What would you like to add? And if, like it's gonna be big for the left gun, it's gonna go on the top and then by right when it's gonna be gonna serve down and it's gonna fall right in. Can you? Abigail. Abigail, can you please tell me about your leopard cop trap? My leopard cop trap, um, she's gonna get out the house and then she's gonna walk right here and then she's she gonna fall in here. Oh, that is amazing. On March 21st, I Road invited our future starfish families to our kindergarten preview day. Many families were in attendance and it was great seeing all of our future students. Families learned what it means to be a starfish and got a tour of our kindergarten classrooms. Alejandro attended this event to see how things were going. Hi, I'm Alejandro Bates and I am here with... Mr. Ware. And... Kevin. So, Mr. Ware, tell me, how do you feel about Sawyer Road Elementary? I think it's a great school. I'm excited for Kevin to come here. Uh, I'm a big softie, so this is a big transition for me. I'll probably cry a little bit, you know, as uh, this is my little, this is my little guy. So, who is more scared, you or your child? Probably me. Uh, you know, it's a brand new experience for him, uh, but I think he's pretty brave, so he'll be able to handle it. March 30th is baseball opening day. Teachers and students are welcome to wear their favorite jerseys and hats. We are also running a concession stand for, of snacks and goodies. Bring one of five dollars in cash so, you, so we can support the school. That concludes for today's episode. I'm Colleen Perez Mejia and this is your Starfish News. Reach for the stars. <laughs>